Hey everyone, Amber here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to Evil Within again. We are now on chapter 8, I believe, chapter 7. Chapter 7. The Keeper. Ooh, spooky. <laughs> um, I've been looking forward to this chapter for a very specific reason. Um, that reason will be revealed very soon enough. I know that didn't make a lot of sense very soon enough, but you know, it'll make sense. That close. We'll just ammo. Um for anyone that's like doesn't understand why I'm so hyped for this chapter, um I've been looking forward to it for one reason, and that's because I get to reveal something. Um, and I've been waiting for this chapter specifically to reveal it, because it'll make sense when it comes. I, I don't want to keep droning on about it when it, nothing's going to come of it yet. Hey, Joseph, you still with me? You want to push with me? I want Joe Suave. Sebastian, you ever had the urge to just jump when you're on a high place <coughs> or the subway rolls by? Imagine if you had that urge for a minute straight, then two minutes. You fought it off three times now, Joseph. You're learning to stop it. You're not listening. I'm not worried about stopping it, Seb. I'm worried about not wanting to stop it. Okay, so at least he's taking some accountability for what he's been like. Some part of me wants to turn. I don't know why. And I can't reason it away. It's deeper than that. It's like instinct. And it's getting stronger. Hold on. This way. What was that? Oh, hey, Rubik. If he becomes a boss, that's just the equivalent to healing the boss, so... I don't know what you were thinking there, but... You gonna smack me into that? Or could you open a new exit for me, please? Come on, Rubik. Do the good thing. Open the exit. Or entrance, or wherever. Not bad. I love, like, the idea that, like, he constantly falls through stuff. Oh my god, holy shit, it's this, it's time. Yes. Chapter 7, The Keeper. Also, I'm just thinking right now, um, you probably saw the thumbnail. Better start searching for my partners. Because, I mean, the big, like, reveal that I've been wanting to reveal is definitely going to be in the thumbnail. Um, so yeah, you've definitely already seen the thumbnail. If you clicked on this video, that is... I mean, obviously, like, if you click on this video, you're watching it right now, so of course you've clicked on it. Ignore me, whatever I'm saying. I'm just blabbering. Um, but yeah, the context for that will be revealed very soon. Oh, shit, I remember this place being full of traps. Ok, 
Okay. So he was making all the noise. <laughs> Use a ball on like a vase, which I guess is still glass, kind of. Wait, 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 what the fuck? Oh, you're just normal enemies. Just a little bit of spice to you, I guess. Uh, bro, 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 bro. Let me... I am fully aware I am kind of wasting bullets, but at the same time... In a way, I'm not. I'm just wanting to, like, conserve, like, the big... The big knockers. <laughs> what, what does that even mean? I'm trying to save, like, the big bullets and the big guns, like these. Like, the shotgun and the pistol. Okay, I don't know why I burnt you. Four specifically... Bosses. Cause that shit's gonna come in handy. I don't know if there's an attachment for this gun that takes off the sight. What's it going on? Yeah, I always struggle. That's the what. That's my main problem sometimes with, with like conserving ammo. Is like finding ammo for that gun again and not being able to like use it. Looks loose. Was my video still not uploaded? By the way. No, it's stuck in seventy. Okay, so, I mean, it sh I shouldn't be recording. I am going to try and get two chapters out for this for this le for this game. Sorry, for this video. Um. Oh my god. Oh yeah, baby. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> I don't know why I'm being so weird about it. Uh, yeah, I'm going to try to get two chapters out for this video, and um, if if you're wondering why the other episode took so long to come out, um, it's because it's on 17 minutes right now as I'm recording this, but it's like stuck, so I'm not going to be able to finish it. Oh shit. There he is! Ah, there he is! There's my boy! Okay, I'm not going to reveal it yet. Uh, I'm going to wait a tiny bit till we've got a full look at him. Um. Yeah. I want to get two videos out, two, ep two chapters out for this episode. I know I keep like reiterating what I'm saying. Um, as you may know, I do that a lot. Please burn. <laughs> but that is just the main goal of this episode, is to get two chapters out and then move on to, well, continue, obviously, with this game. It fits. Wait, what am I even trying to say? Sorry. I want to get this chapter out. Two chapters out this video, and then I'll continue the series. Because, like, I want to get more chapters out in the next couple of episodes. So I can get through this game a bit faster. I don't want to speedrun it. I just, um... I've got, like, a, I've got a lot of games to play. Um... 
currently, so getting them out is going to be my main priority. And it's not like that one-time game is either. Like, I want to do like full ass. You, what the fuck is that? Yo, I don't remember you. Hey, bud. God damn it, bro. Come on, bro. Hit, hit the, hit the door. Don't. Do you have to shoot at them? I don't like wasting bullets on that kind of stuff, but that was bullets here anyway, so what does it matter? But yeah, as I was saying, uh, I've got a lot of games that aren't just going to be your, your standard um, one, one part game. I've got a lot of full game series in mind. Um, some of them being, well, most all of them being horror games. I'm not going to reveal what games they are. I mean, I was considering it, but I'm not going to. Oh, shit. I remember this. Son of a bitch! And I also remember what that thing does, so I am not going to take my chances just yet. I take it by setting the trap off early. It's um. <laughs> Shit, bro. Is my HP slowly regaining? It probably is, but I'm still going to use this just because, you know, time and whatnot. How have you guys have enjoyed um, Evo Event so far? You going to do anything? No? This is going to shut. It's just so obvious. Oh, wait, shit. Is this... What? Hey, buddy! Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This this guy, I just want to say, because um, it's probably going to be in the title of the video as well, this guy is literally just um, Billy from uh, Saw. Or John Kramer, whatever, whatever you want to class him as, John Kramer, Billy, that same friggin' guy. For once, I wish I had the camera on the left to see when it's getting lethal. Okay, it's stopped. But yeah, this guy is pretty much just a, a John Kramer. More lethal, of course. Like this guy, the keeper he's called, he, he's way more scary than John Kramer. I mean, obviously this guy is like an entity and whatnot, but you know, oh shit. Okay, I would like to consider the possibility of using that trap, but... You're not dead. 
sometimes you kind of have everything you want so plus i mean like at the end of the day i want this trap to not blow up on me obviously to turn into bolts i don't know how many videos it took me to realize like that you can actually that the whole idea of the bolts sorry not the uh, the, the the metal is to actually make bolts out of them Oh, damn it. I'm doing it completely wrong. No, stop it. Now let's make a flash. Oh, okay, so you reload it once and then it's loaded throughout all of them. Um, so is the idea of them traps is like the spikes on the side of it like burst off is that what i meant to understand i remember when i uh replayed this well obviously like as i said in the first episode i played this game at a friend's house um I remember the first time I played it. Sorry, the second time I played played through it and actually finished it, I was like posting so much of this on Instagram, especially this part. Um. Uh, yes, fucking indeed, Sebastian. Fuck indeed, that scared me. What what were we trying to do? I don't think you can go through that. Okay. Oh shit, it's actually getting lethal. Fuck. Close it, close it, close it. Ah. Oh, Damn just. It. That was close. That was very close. I don't know if that's like scripted to um, actually say that. That was more than fucking close, bro. Yeah, I posted a lot of cringy stuff about this game. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if I'm still seen as a cringy person. To even those who don't even know me. But, you know... You post some... Everyone posts some weird stuff every now and then. Uh, I'll be right back. Uh, we are back. I know it's a very weird code. Um, probably should have waited to put this in just in case it activates like some kind of boss. Just one more. Or something. I like a fight, but I guess not. What's that? A candle. Hmm. It wouldn't happen to... I can probably climb on that. That cockroach. That sycophant. Living off me. Feeding off my work. Ooh, what did I activate? I thought I was on the safe. On, on, sorry, on the recording. Have I been here? Oh, okay, so it just shut behind me. Um, I feel like I should have rode. Oh no, there's some spikes.
there was no guarantee that would have worked. Okay, so you can ride the spikes. Nice ass, bro. I say that a lot about a lot of enemies that have asses, but when you see an enemy with a good ass, better call him that. He's just trying to kick a rat. What, cheese boy? Okay, let's go through this way. I see that tripwire. I know it's very faint, but I still see it. Hmm. 22 minutes, that's really good for like how much progress we're making so far. Because if I remember as well. Ooh. Okay, let's actually use my pistol for once. Because they just keep giving me pistol ammo. Um, do I go through there? Do I go through here? Which way do I go? I'm assuming there's nothing up there. Yep, I get what I was asking. I had a feeling. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get them all in here. And I'm gonna get squooshied. Squooshy mushy. Oh, hello. The more the merrier, yeah? Jesus Christ. Okay, go, 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 go. Pull it, pull it. Oh, thank God. I was worried that this guy first wouldn't actually get crushed because, um, you know, his feet were hanging out, but I guess the game seen my logic as well and was like, yeah, he should get crushed. So it was in here then. Anything of worth? There's definitely a trap hidden around here in the darkness. Okay, was there anything I missed up here before I actually go down there? So I want to bet I missed something. Nope. Something swing swang. <laughs> I I even fuck sake I even said there would be traps. And sure enough I'm right, but I don't take my own advice. Telephone trap. I don't know if it's just me, but that piece of dirt. Let me try and make sure I'm getting the focus. That right there, I don't know. Just below his head on the right, because I, I could circle it, but... Um, it might not look too good in the video. Okay, so all of that just for like a couple vials. I mean, it wasn't just vials, it was ammo and it was... Um, Potential uh, I don't know <laughs> potential bolts of course. And it didn't take any damage much as far as I am aware. Just cut on, baby. Oh, 
Okay, yep. Hey, bud. Oops, I don't want to go on that. You coming down? You know, then you get you can join your friends. Okay, I'm gone. Pop this bad boy into focus. And let's get going. It would definitely not crush me. Right. Yeah, definitely. My stall. Honestly, this is like my favorite chapter. I mean, I know I said like Laura is my favorite. Ooh. Yeah, I know that's gonna happen. Yep. Okay, he's finally been revealed. I can now say it. Oh shit, bro. Okay, but now that he's finally been revealed, I can finally tell what I've wanted to have been telling. Um the thumbnail about where there's like a right. How do I think how do I say this? I will say after this, because it's fucking intense. Jesus! I was gonna say they would not. I don't know why I was actually thinking they would allow me to actually disarm all of them. Okay, Leslie, now Leslie's here. God damn it. Kid. Kid. Kidman? Is she here too? Kid. Kid. Is she alright? Is she alright? Alright? You've got to be very careful what you say towards uh, mental hospital patients. Okay, but I wanted to say real quick before we go into any more. The thumbnail... Um, the person on the thumbnail that's dressed up, that is uh, me. Like... The keeper cosplay to the left of the thumbnail, that's me. Um, I'll even put uh, pictures right now. Uh, you open? Yeah, I'll put pictures up of like the different... Um... Oh, I'll wait. He's gonna run. Time for the magic, I think. This is the why I love the keeper. It's cause bro can just rise out of any safe that he wants. Oh, oh I love him. Oh, I've missed you. Hey, you, I still want the, the statue of him. Um, I don't remember how I've got to actually fight him. For some context as well, while we're fighting him. And he's dead. For now. Sorry to spoil. Keep I don't die. Uh... Yeah, context on the keeper. I was going to dress up as him for a Comic Con um, where I live. Uh, here I go. Uh, but I decided not to because the helmet was too big. I'll put pictures up right now as I'm running around. Of that cosplay. Uh, 
Yo, bro, you should give me, um... I don't know, you should give me something, because I just up as you. You should give me, um... Oh no. Let me die, and let me come back. Yeah, like I said, I'll, I'll be putting pictures up right now of like the different poses I took of him. Well, it was my brother who took poses of him. Um, yeah, the way I made it was um, I took a cardboard box and uh, I spray painted it. Then I got some foam on the sides. I put the foam around the edges to create like the. the um, let's see if I can get him in the frame. Yeah, we can go and look at him. Like the little, um, the little corner parts to make the square. And then I very tediously pushed like 200 thumbtacks into his, um, into that foam. And from there, I spray painted it again. Um, and then my dad, like, I was wondering how I was going to get the barbed wire around his mask. So, my dad and me, my dad's idea, we made actual barbed wire to go around the helmet. Um, I didn't like spray it or anything. I didn't like make it how I should have made it. Which it would have made sense to obviously spray paint the wire to make it grey. Um, I don't think I did that. Uh, but the main reason I never actually took it to a Comic Con is A, it didn't fit on my head properly. And B, it was just overall too big. Like the backpack, um, everything about him. Oh, I love him. I just love how he snaps his neck. He dies, and then. Three, two, one, comes back to life. It's just so cool. Um, I'm sorry if I'm like. If I'm sounding a bit like. sporadic, or whatever the word is, like while trying to talk. Um. Yeah, the, but the one thing I will be forever thankful for is that I actually didn't dress up as the Keeper for Comic-Con. Um, because if I did that, I would not have ever met the, my partner. Since uh, we both dressed up as Heisenberg and Bella from Resident Evil. I'll put up a picture of that as well. Um, I don't have my hammer on that picture, which is kind of disappointing. But I'll put up the two pictures like, ooh shit, bros are pissed. Also I made the bag as well. Out of um a pillowcase, I think it was. I think it was a pillowcase I took. God damn it bro, yeah, I'm just trying to tell a story about how I made the cosplay of you and you're making me friggin' panic this shit. Yeah, I took a pillowcase and um, dipped it in like coffee to make it all like um, gringly, and then I added a bunch of uh, coat hanger parts. I mean, to be honest, looking back on it, it wasn't a very good cosplay. Um, I 
I mean, there was so much more I should have done. Like, it was very, very unsafe. Like, the barbed wire and everything. All I did was hot glue the top of them to make it less spiky. But seeing how packed the Comic-Con was on that day, it would not have worked. Let alone get in the car. Just so many factors as to why I'm glad I never dressed it as them. But I'm glad I took the time to actually create um, the mask. Um, it was a fun cosplay. Which, I know I'm blabbering and I'm sorry. Um, I definitely want to get back into cosplay next year. So, um, I don't know who I dress up as, but Take this. Uh, bro is strong as shit, though. Finally. What's in the box? Escape the keeper. Yeah, don't know who I'll dress up as, because, um, so far in my lifetime, I, I thought I was going to say, like, in my lifetimes, um, in my lifetime I've done Creep from Borderlands, um, uh, Heisenberg from Resident Evil 8, I've done Nemesis from Resident Evil 3, I've done Nemesis, Krieg, Keeper, Carl Heisenberg. Okay, that's the end of the chapter, but we're still going. We're still going at the next chapter. Keep it moving. Why can't I remember what other cosplay I did? Oh yeah, and I did um, the Demogorgon from Stranger Things. Uh... I'll probably make a separate video talking about this, um, and I'll show my cosplayers off on that, so stick, look off, <laughs> I was going to say stay tuned, stick around for that video, like, look off for that video when it comes out. Um, and I did a temporary sweet tooth from Twisted Metal. Um... That was very sporadic, I apologize. Again. I'm out of breath just talking about it, like all these different cosplays. I just need to say if um If any of you would ever meet me in real life at a Comic Con or something, um Not that I'm very good at talking to people, but my partner will knows. My partner will tell you um, if you ever asked that. Um, I will not shut up about my hobbies and like my interests. Like when I get comfortable with someone, um, I can just talk for hours. Let me throw, bro. I'm. What the fuck was that? Um, I get like very in-depth into my like talks um, I don't stop and I say it's a bad thing um, my partner was like 50 50 on it like it's it's good that I'm like I like to talk about these things but Sometimes I just repeat the same things, and I'm sure if you've seen my videos in the past, I have done that a lot. And I apologize, but that's just a little bit in-depth as to why I do that. Okay, so that's the new variant. I think, is that what I meant to understand? I like how I'm saying, like, 
if you ever meet me at a Comic Con and whatnot, I do not think I'll ever be as big to get recognized for the Comic Con. Um, but you know, just in case I do. I mean, it would be a dream of mine, even though I don't like talking to people. Um, I'm very introverted and I, I'll be honest, I don't like people. Um, if I ever met like a fan of my YouTube channel, I wouldn't mind talking to you. I just will not talk to a random stranger who I do not know. Um, but I guess much like the odd ones out, um, I don't think he likes talking to people either, but when it's his fans, it's easier to talk. Because one of the ways I see it is, if you know me, and we talk, at least we're in the same stuff. Because I mean, you're watching the YouTube video right now, you know? I didn't, I didn't even catch what chapter this was called before I was like blabbering on about random shit again. I do miss Comic Con though. I do, like, absolutely do miss going to them. Um, I still, of course, have no idea who I dress up as, because... Well, since I started doing conventions, I have... Oh, no. Sorry, I'll talk to Sebastian. This is not the fucking time to stop! Okay, now that I'm out of that, um, since I've started, since I started doing Comic Cons like two or three years ago, um, and I've stopped now, but I want to get back into it. I have um, put a lot of weight on. So I guess I would like want to be some character that's my same body weight. I know people, I know I've always said, and I know people have always said that um, body weight does not define cosplay. Um, but I'd want to be like. I like the idea of having the same body weight as the character, what the fuck? Yeah, fuck that. I've just realised I've just done that voice accidentally of the guy that my partner keeps watching. Um, I don't know his name, but my partner keeps watching this guy on YouTube that talks in a very specific way. Um, he always goes like stuff like, what the fuck? That's, <laughs> that's fucking disgusting. That's an eight. Um, he like ranks stuff. Um, if anyone knows who he, who he is, let me know in the comments. I mean, I should just ask my partner, but um, I'll forget to. And even when I edit these videos, I just like skim through most of the parts. Because I mean, I don't know what like to edit if it's just like a linear game. Oh. Like a lot of this, a lot of the evil within is just me running back and running through areas. We don't need to fight. Why can't we be friends? Why can't we be friends? Come on, buddy. 
Come on, Spuddy. Who was that? I thought it was Kidman for a second. Just quickly checking the time. If, if anyone was wondering why it like cut to the pause, that's because I'm just checking the the length of this video. I mean, even if it's a long ass video, I don't mind. Um, because yeah, I want to do like two chapters every episode now. Yeah, this is not gonna end in the same phase. Oh. I don't want to put that in because I know how it's going to end. You run. Okay. This one? Ah! Oh, shit. Oh. For some reason, I thought I was going to live. Chapter 8, a planted seed will grow. And... As far as I can tell, apparently the next couple of episodes will be like an hour long. Um, that's what I've read on Reddit. That after this chapter, every chapter is like an hour long apart from one. So, uh, maybe... I was just kicking that size. I'm not entirely sure. One side has blood streak to cross it, so it'll be this side then. Yeah. I think go. Uh, bro, I don't know why he stands there waiting. I mean, then again, it, you're waiting for the door to open, so I guess it makes sense. Uh, oh boy. Here comes Leslie. Yeah, depending, because I know there's an episode that will be on for two hours, so that'll be like one. The two hour the two hour chapter is gonna just be one one episode because two hours is just crazy. Doc. Doc, what the hell is going on? There's no time. I need to figure out how to reverse this if we're going to stop him. Who? This Rubik guy? Who the hell is he? I'm sorry, I have to find this. I can't help if you leave me in the dark, Doc. And you need me to help. He will... We... We're working on a method. How can I explain this? It's... Like linking brains together. Sharing everything on an electrochemical level. Emotion, memory, perception, everything. Directly. It's unprecedented. The implications on psychology, on pharmaceuticals, on consciousness itself. Are you serious? It's a fucking nightmare. Well, I didn't say it was perfect. Especially not with such a... unstable host. Great. So your research partner is a psychopath. And we're all inside his head. N not exactly, no. All of us are no he's on infected. Some level, but he's the only one with conscious influence. You know how he thinks. What does he want? Well, it's just a theory, but I'd say he wants us dead. Well, of course he'd want we're dead. Why wouldn't he? 
Okay, so I was working it out. Um, I think after this episode, I'm going to have like three more episodes left to finish the main game. Um, holy shit. I, I do not remember that. Because apparently chapter 9 is an hour long and chapter 10 is 2 hours. So that would be like a 3 hour long episode and then the next couple of chapters are like 1 to 2, 1 hour and a bit length. I'm not going to go into the details because, you know, I might change my mind. Uh, what do I do? Ooh, I don't know. Do I continue the chapter or do I leave it there? Let me... Let's go for it. Holy shit. I thought it was like 12.50 at night there, because I'm looking at my screenshot. Okay, yeah. We will finish this. We, we are going to finish chapter 9. Because then that would make it... Uh, still the same amount of episodes, but oh well. I remember this, and I know it's very, very important to the story. I don't remember how. I don't remember the symbolism of it. But I do remember that this part plays a big role in why Ruvik hates people. Was that someone else's memories? You were moaning in your sleep. Have a bad dream? <sighs> Let go of me! Let go of me! Let go of me! Let go of me! You alright there, bud? No. No. Not that way. Leslie? That's not Leslie. Leslie wouldn't laugh. Oh. Memories are vague things indeed. It can be easy at times for memories to be distorted by others. That is why they must be cherished. I just really, I know. Again, I can't say much now because I know. <sighs> Ooh, bro. I cut my heart. Oh, must back here again. You Can I leave now? Also, I really. I do not remember who. Oh, hey, Ruvik. Right. 
Here I am again, like going ah, ah, <laughs> like because I reckon I, it's. I mean, it makes sense, but this is another reused place for the DLC. Um, I don't know if that's a spoiler. Um, I wouldn't count it as a spoiler. Wait, I've seen that house somewhere. But that's exact house you do. I've never been here before, but. They get here. Okay, I was looking at my upload. Um, I guess I'll be back once I've um, explored. Okay, I'm assuming it's been cut back. Um, there was nothing. I mean, there was loads of barrels around um, around the place, but a lot of them had nothing in. So, thanks for the waste of time, game. Hey, stop! Damn it! Holy shit! Now what? Wait, is it chapter nine? Yeah, it's chapter nine. Of course it is. Yep, all of this is just reused in the DLC. This entire house, even the the mirrors in the same place, I think. Was that a hiding spot? Now, why would I need to hide? Unironically, I don't know why I would need to hide. Um, I know it sounds like I know why I would need to hide, but I do not. I will admit it is pretty cool seeing this area, knowing that it's in the DLC. Because when I played the DLC for the first time, um, I've only played them all once. Um, you're not dead. Okay, maybe you were dead, but oh yeah, extra, extra dead. I did not pick up that this was the, the this area from this, um, like from this, if that makes any sense. I just kind of went through the DLC like, oh, they made a new area. Um, I, not even that, I didn't even like come to think of like that they made a new area, it just, when do I have here? Wait, is this actually for his part? I thought it was DLC. Oh, Rubik, 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 Rubik. Back off, bro, bro. No, 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 no. Do not touch me. You fucking dare touch me. I don't know why I try to throw a bottle at him, as if that would do anything. He probably would just keep walking through it. So is this actually part of this part, or is it...? Oh yeah, it is. Oh, 
effective. Anticipate greater results with stimulation of section F7. The consent region of the neocortex. Subject imprint, only partially successful. Individual personality traits linger. Anticipate greater results with stimulation of section F7. Section F7. I don't know what the fuck that means, because I'm not a brain surgeon. Subject number 58. Test 92A. Electrode placement in M33. Pain region. Ineffective. Anticipate greater results with stimulation of section F7. Consent region of the neocortex. Subject imprint. Oh, okay. So I get it now. What did I just set in motion? Is this what did you call it? your inner sanctum? A research lab in your own. I am most impressed. Why are you back? I didn't give you permission. Come now, we're both men of science. Men of science are dedicated to the pursuit of knowledge. You can show me your experiments. I can show you things. You wouldn't like them. You'd think they're gross. In science, one must do any number of things a layperson may find disgusting. I've done many things others would consider distasteful you think i'm some kind of a monster you concern yourself so much with your appearance but that mind of yours that's all that matters so he was always fucked up that's marcello is that rufik with him i know you can't hear me sebastian but that is rufik i'm pretty sure Have a fucking bottle. Oh, that's the first jump scare I've actually had, so that's good. Let me go around and back and grab them bullets. I, I wanted to say, because, well, then again, it'll reveal itself, um... I'm not going to mention it because, like, I don't want to give away about this game. Um, looks like a some of you may be happy to know I actually don't know. I don't actually remember a lot about the second game because um, I only played it once. But then again, like, if you replay any game regardless of how many times you've played it you will have small little like realizations as to oh yeah i remember this like that's what i'm having right now is like like i didn't remember this part like when i thought of you within i thought of like the sadist which was the guy with the chainsaw um i thought of laura and the keeper mainly them three but I know I thought of like Ruvik in this mansion and whatnot. I know I thought of Leslie and Kidman and Joseph. Basically, like just so many factors that, ah, uh, you know, you don't think of, unless you know that's just me and I'm just being a big dumbass. I wonder if they're actually to hide from Ruvik. Damn. Beautiful. Beautiful portrait. She's a beautiful porcelain doll. Sorry, beautiful steel doll, I should say. You truly capture her... Whatever the artsy term is. 
He's very square, I like it. Right, I'm assuming there's actually nothing in here to do other than get that safe open when I can. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, obviously when you play a game for the first time, um, you're going to remember small little details. Lower safe. So I apologize if, like, sometimes I accidentally give too much away. <laughs> oh no! Rubik, 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 Rubik. I'm gonna run past you now. Where'd you teleport to? I know you can fucking teleport. You know what? You can teleport, so can I teleport? Actually, I'm gonna hide under the table. Okay, fine. Web, uh, okay. Yeah, I do apologize if I give too much away at times. Um. I don't mean to, and I don't realize that I do. Oh, of course that wouldn't be enough to kill you, would it? We gotta do some head popping. Are you dead? So I don't get what they are. Like, they eat corpses. I don't know if that's like the first time I've actually caught them eating a corpse. Um, but they eat corpses, so does that make them zombies? Or does it make them... Zombies. I don't know what else to say what they could make then, but they eat the corpses, so they must be zombies. Oh, but dial. I've don't actually remember this, but I'm willing to bet that the number of people at the top actually represents the number of um, the safe. So I've took a picture of that. So yeah, are they zombies or are they not zombies? If I, if I was to look into it, it would be like... I know I would get some like... Well, I wouldn't get some nerdy response, but like... I just know the game's got its own like term for what they are. Like, they're not zombies, they're more... I don't know, I mean they called a guy with a chainsaw a sadist, I don't know... I don't know what a sadist is, but... No, it looks like a sailor, so... Ooh! Fun. Ooh, shit. I've already been in here. Wait, did he have green? Oh, you did. I don't mean the drug. Um... Hmm. 
Okay. I expected the bath to be at least a bit bloody. Um, oh no. I would have loved to see that death kill, um, but at the same time, I don't want to have to go back and do all of this again. So I'm still not fully sure what them people are. Um, collectible, I think. I mean, obviously they looked at the light, and the light shone upon them, and then they just went like all like... ...friggin' barbed wired faces and whatnot. So there's obviously some more lore to what they are. Again. Subject number 12. Test 71B. Electrode placement A2. Stimulation of amygdala, seat of emotion and memory allocation. The fear center of the brain. Subject feels as I do. This vessel is far too weak to withstand the psychological weight I myself bear daily. Wait, 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 so is Ruvik actually, I never, I never actually, like, took this in when I first played the game, but is Ruvik actually doing this? Because when I first played this, um, I followed a YouTube guide. Oh, Father, if you only knew how satisfying that look on your face is, did you actually think? If you locked me away, I would just cease to exist. Oh, so Ruvik killed his dad. You did. You did. Didn't you? Oh, you were never out of my mind. I hope you're proud of yourselves. I don't remember if it's explained, well obviously it will be explained as to why his family didn't like him, but I'm getting the feeling that the reason they locked him away is because, I want to go back by the way, I just want to check if I missed anything. Um, the reason that they locked him away is because he was a freak. And obviously with the dad having this massive, like, mansion, he must be rich as shit, so... We don't need that anymore. Ooh, bro! I don't know what to do. Where's Ruby? There he is. Oh, of course it would just bounce off you, wouldn't it? Oh yeah, piled up. Yeah, I'm assuming because the dad was rich, he thought his son was a freak. Um, and obviously with him being like, I mean, to get this big of a house, you'd have to be a businessman, assuming. No, 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 fuck, stop, stop, don't, no, don't use that. Oh, fuck. Oh well. Yeah, I'm assuming he was a businessman or something like that, and... He didn't believe in experiments, so that's why he did them in the walls. 
I mean, that seems to be what, like, the implication is that he did them in the walls and in the basement. I mean, that's what he said to the doctor, so... Maximum frequency stimulation of cortical regions has proven less than effective. The subjects scream and scream, but they die much too quickly. Tailored settings achieve better results. The only question that remains is which we need to use. Two. So I never actually like worked this one out either when I first played it, but is Ruve is this Ruvik's mind? And that's why he's like so powerful. And the reason that the keeper is a thing is because they've got a painting of the keeper safe in their house. Um Then again, you know, I'm just blabbering him free. What? Three, four. That's like 13. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eleven. Ooh, shit. Swat up, bro. Subject number 14. Test 88C. Olympic priming. Temp 3. Electrode placement C4. Stimulation of the singular cortex. The hope center. So yeah, he experimented on real people. How the fuck did this guy get these people in his house? Also, I think we've already been doing this chapter for like, um... The hospital has not received the family's usual donation this year. And why would they? Has the hospital been doing anything worthy of donation? The Victoriano family has always been a generous contributor. Where are your parents? They have gone away. When do you expect them? Is there something you wish to discuss, Doctor? I came to inform you that the hospital will no longer be able to provide you with assistance. Materials. Your research will very quickly disintegrate. How dare you come into my home and threaten me? Wait, so is he getting people from the hospital to experiment on? Is that what is it? Wait, so I'm willing to bet the whole idea of this is um, again, I don't know. I just want to clarify that. <laughs> the way you just friggin' came in with a little stupid gun and just pointed at me like that. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure. You know, I've got a better idea to kill you. What if Ruvik ended up in the mental asylum because this guy snitched on him? Um. So the doctor came along. How the fuck are you still alive? So obviously the doctor came in, he knew about his experiments. Um, the... He killed his parents. And because they didn't 
I'm trying to, sorry, I'm trying to think how to word this. Um, I'm just gonna like explain a bit of what I'm thinking. Um, Ruvik did experiments on people. Um, the hospital granted them them. This other guy knew about the experiments. Um, then he came over to threaten them to do something for him. Ruvik took that badly. Ruvik ended up in a mental asylum. Somehow has these abilities to like create these monsters and whatnot. And so when you went into the into the asylum, that's why he was killing everyone because he escaped containment. And then we ended up in his head, and that's why like everything is the way it represents. <sighs> Sorry for all of that like projection of my faults. I do that a lot. Um, but yeah, that's just like my theory. I mean, I'm not entirely sure it's right. Why am I to be run away from you? I probably should, shouldn't I? Ooh. Slice clean all the way. No cure for what I'm going to do to you. Are you doing it on a Peel rat? Pristine skin. That's from the what the fuck Rubik. is that? Oh, it's a pig. <laughs> so yeah, I just want to clarify that I do not know much about this game. Um, I know very little about what happens. Obviously, I played through the game, but I didn't read the notes, so... I'm just going off my own, like, theories. And there is one more factor that I want to add, but I also want to wait until it happens. I think... Yeah, this is it. This is that factor. I'm assuming you kind of fight him. I mean, I don't remember if you can, but I'm not going to attempt it. Ooh. Yeah, I had a feeling that's what that would do. But then again, I thought it would drop it faster. <gasps> oh, no! Do I want them? Dude, right, is it really that important? I thought I'd grab. It's obviously there to tempt you. Fucking, it ain't worth it. Oh, motherfucker. Oh. Oh, dude, bro's gone. Heck. Obviously, there's nothing they could have done about that glitch, because obviously, like, it's meant to hold you in place. Going back to my whole, like... Sorry, going back to my whole... Um... Theory about that I don't... You cannot forget. Sorry, you... I'll remember certain parts of a game, but not all of it. Um, this part proves it, because I don't remember this part at all. Hold up, I thought this was Little Nightmares 2 for a second. This is, looks like it would be in Little Nightmares 2. I don't know if anyone else would agree with me. Um, but this looks like a scene straight out of that. Okay, I do remember this.
Yeah, Straight Outta Little Nightmares 2 specifically, I'm pretty sure there is a scene that represents this. I'm pretty sure there is a Little Nightmares scene that has that. Also, get the fuck out of here. Is this the law? Yep, this is it. This also proves my. This also adds to my theory that might be right about that the whole idea that Ruvik sees all this. This is Ruvik's mind, and like everything looks the certain way is because of um, the things that he that he had in the reality. If that makes sense. Why was I led here? So basically, what I'm trying to say uh, to explain it better. Like the safe on the painting, it was the very same safe. Because obviously that was from his family's home. It would not be there if it didn't represent anything. So I'm wondering if everything that's in this game, that's in this area, is representing something from his like childhood or like whatnot. I don't think there's anything outside of here, so I'm just going to go straight in. And Laura. I know you're in here. I can hear you breathing. <laughs> and we all know who Laura is, because you know I already mentioned who she was. That's the six arm so sorry, four armed lady. I've got to say, this part is so fucked. So yeah, Ruvik is Laura's sister. These guys are so fucked. I mean, I don't think they know that they're in there. I didn't hear anything. Oh yeah, he fucking did, but he, he just didn't give a fuck. Fucking asshole. Oh, Ruben, sorry. And that's why Ruben's covered in bandages. And that is why Laura hates fire. Better get out of here. There. Again, I I do not know if these theories are a hundred percent correct. Um and I promise that I am not just pulling these theories, being like, well, I don't know if they're real. Um, I really don't. Really? But I do think the whole reason that Laura hates fire is because of this traumatic event. And that is why Rubik made her into like a four-armed monster. Probably not the idea that like, oh, she's a monster. Obviously he loved his sister. But I think the whole idea is she, she got burned to death. So that's why fire hurts her and that's why she's like all like bloodied and burnt also they blood drop so i've never actually thought about it but Again, sorry for the really big, like, lore dump theories, um... Usually I would just give these to my partner, but... 
Oh, yeah, they're zombies. They've got to be zombies. Yeah, I would usually give all these theories to my partner, but... Um, she hasn't played the evil thing, so she will not know anything. Of what I'm talking about. I've got goosebumps because it's so sad. Like, Ruvik is not a bad guy. He's just pissed off at the world because... Well, I mean, how would, who would he how would he know that... Um, who burnt him, you know? I don't know why he thinks Sebastian's, like, thingy didn't know it. Eat. You've got to keep your strength up. My children... I want... Beatrice, we have been through. Is Beatrice his mom? Oh, that's just so... I'm so glad I'm actually playing this again because, like, I get to think more theories and I get to, like, try and figure out more stuff. Um... Is that the end of the chapter? Yep, that's the end. Ooh, that was a good chapter, like a really, really good chapter. Um, but that is all for this episode. Uh, I cannot wait to see where it goes from here. I mean, obviously, I do know what happens at the end of the game and whatnot, but I don't remember the whole story aspect of it um, and whatnot, so... Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed what you've seen today, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss a future upload of mine. And I will see you in the next video that I do. Goodbye!